come here, flipanythingusa.com. I got 10 minutes here, so I'm gonna make this quick. On my video blog, I show people how I made my fortune building my real estate empire. I started when I was 19 years old. By the time I was 28, I was a millionaire, and I've done nothing but make money since. Anybody can do it. I know you can, because I did it. Okay, that simple. But it does require work and determination, and that's what I'm gonna talk to you about today. We're gonna talk about staying motivated. Talking about staying motivated, when you first get started buying and selling real estate or you're trying to make that first deal, the first deal is the hardest. The first deal is the toughest, okay? But you can do it, you can do it, okay? Uh, now, I, I always try to assume people are starting with very little or no money and, and because really it doesn't matter whether you have money or not because the key to making money is making a deal. The deal's hard to find, okay? The deal is not exclusive to people that have money. The deal is exclusive to whoever gets there first and makes the deal. So, number one, uh, you gotta you gotta get your knowledge base. Okay, so you, you know, look for a deal. Okay. Now, we're gonna talk about real estate, but you can look for a deal in anything. If you if you're a kid, if you're not, not old enough to buy a piece of property, look for a deal on a mini bike and resell a mini bike for more. I mean, you can buy anything at a deal and sell it for more. But just get informed and understand what value is on whatever you're gonna focus on. But right now, I'm just gonna assume you're a working guy, you know, maybe you can come up with 10 grand or whatever, okay? Uh, or more, or more, 100 grand, whatever. I don't know how, where you're at, but it doesn't matter. It's all relative. So you have to do the work to look at property in your area. And what generally happens is, you look around your home or you look around your work, okay? Uh, you know, if you're one of these guys that's fortunate enough that, you know, that gets to travel but actually gets to interact with people. Uh, I'll give you an example of a friend of mine. He worked for a water company. He read meters. I said, guy, you've got the best position in the world. You can develop rapport with every single person that you talk to when you meet them in the yard and you're checking their meter. Within two weeks of me telling him that and, and guiding him, he ended up making a deal and he got a, a place for $60,000, owner finance, $2,000 down, that was worth about 180, okay? That can happen, okay? But let's just talk about things in general. I say look for a deal, okay? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump over and talk about uh, a real estate barbell, okay? I, I describe my a real estate barbell as this. Here's where I live, okay? And here's where I work, factory, okay? That's where I'm at right now, okay? What happens is, is I come home from work, and as I come home from work, I go through neighborhoods, you know, in my area, and then what ends up happening is, I end up buying a house here, Buying a house here, buying a house here, buying a house here, 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 here. Maybe a couple commercial properties. These are stuff that's near my home, okay? Near my home, okay? This is the beginning of the real estate barbell, okay? So I'm buying stuff all around my house, okay? And now, because this is where I frequent the most, right? Same thing, I'm coming down the stretch here. Guess what? I buy a building here and I buy a building here, and I buy a building here, and maybe I buy a couple buildings, you know, not too far off, but that makes up the bar of the barbell, okay? Now, here's my factory, right? Okay, or my office, or whatever you want to call it. Okay, wherever you work, that's this other end. Well, you look around there too, because that's where you're at. Probably eight at 10 hours a day, right? If you work hard, even more. But you go to lunch, you run errands, you do things like that. Well, you're always looking, you're always looking around, looking around. So start picking up property here and here and here and here and here. You know, and maybe these are other buildings because it's more of an industrial area or an office area or whatever. You know, an office condo. I got everything. I got houses around here. You know, I got, I got all kinds of property. I got commercial, office, retail around my house. I've got commercial, office, retail around my factory and residential and houses. <clears throat> okay, so what I've created is, right, look, a, a cluster of properties I bought here, cluster of properties I bought here, and there's the barbell in between. Okay, this can be you. This can definitely be you. But 
The hardest part is getting that first deal. Now, maybe you already own a home. Great, you got one. But the key to making money in real estate and getting wealthy is you gotta own at least two. You gotta have one to sell. You gotta have one to sell. That's so important. So start looking around where you live, okay? And just get to know what the values are of those properties. And then you'll know a deal when you see it. You'll, you'll, you'll know what things are worth and then you'll make an approach. You'll say, hey, do you wanna sell this property? And you know, if you look at my property, you know, my video writing contracts on napkins, I do it all the time because usually I make a deal in a very informal setting. I don't come in there with a contract. I don't want to intimidate anybody. I just say, you want to sell this place? They say, I said, well, let's sit down and have a cup of coffee. And then I'm starting to write the details on the napkin of what they agree to sell. And at the end, I sign the napkin and I let them sign it. And they go, that's it? I go, yeah, this is a contract. Well, I'll open escrow tomorrow or today or whatever. That's how it's done. That's how I do it. That's how I've made my fortune is mostly that way, okay? Other times I buy through realtors. That happens too. Believe me, agents are not the brightest. People think just because, you know, you're not going to get a deal because it goes through an agent. That's not true. A lot of agents, <laughs> they know less about property than I do. Believe me, the people I, that sell me property usually know much less than I do. And not in every case, but in most cases, believe me, the guy that's spending the money cares the most. He knows what he's looking for. He knows what he's after. And that's got to be you. It doesn't matter what level you're at. You know, I don't care if you're a multimillionaire or, or you know, you're just somebody that you know, is just working or starting out or young or old. It doesn't matter. So take time to get educated on the values. Number one, okay, circulate in the area around your home. Circulate in the area around your work. And don't get discouraged. Listen, it, it can be frustrating. And guess what? Sometimes you're going to come up and you're going to go to make a deal and you're going to lose it by that much. You're going to lose it. It happens. Be happy because when you just missed a deal, that means that you were there. You were the second one there. Okay. That's second place. Now you still didn't make anything, but guess what? It means you're on the right track and you're doing the right thing. You're getting there. You're getting closer. Okay. And let me tell you, I've made millions by being second because when I'm second, I'm waiting for number one in front of me to, to fumble, to blow it. And so I get in there and say, look, I really want to buy it. And you know, maybe this person isn't going to close the deal and you never know what can happen. And I've even did it. I have a property down here. Very, very, very valuable property. People that were, I was against were, were buying it for, uh, I think an Eckerd's or a Walgreens and they beat me to it. They got the contract, but guess what? They stumbled. They didn't do what they said they were going to do. In fact, I told the agent, I said, you know what? Every time I see a group, it was a group of investors. Well, a group spells trouble because a group means there's more than one decision maker. When I buy something, it's done. If I say I'm buying it, I'm buying it because I don't have a group to check with. I don't use other people's money. I use my own money. I'll borrow money for sure. I'll borrow money. And once in a while, if you're beginning, then maybe you get a partner. Uh, but uh, either way, it doesn't matter. But by being number two in being on top of it, be on it like you're just waiting for them to trip and you say, and then, you know, next thing you'll find out and say, hey, did that deal close? I heard they were buying it. Did they close yet? And they'll say, well, you know what? They didn't close yet. They asked us for a little more time. You go, well, don't give them any more time. I'll buy it right now. I'll do what I said. They should have done what they said they were going to do. You let them know. I mean business. I want that property. That's got to be your attitude no matter what. And then what will happen is if they try to extend again, these guys are going to, you know what? We're tired of being extended. Let's go to Tom or whoever. And who, whoever this person is that, that wants the property so badly. It's me. <laughs> okay. And then number two moves to the number one spot done it many times. I did it. I've even done it since making this video blog. I did it on a house at least two, twice. And you got to watch my leapfrogging video, leapfrogging video. You got to see that too. So don't be discouraged. You're going to look at deals and you go, you're going to go, gee, everything's the same price for the same thing. Well, it's a numbers game, right? You keep looking and looking, looking, look at it like a ring toss. You know, you go into a carnival and you got the rings. Well, you throw it in there, you miss, but guess what? You get enough chances you're going to, you're going to land the, the ring over the bottle and you're going to get it. Well, that's, that's what it is like cold calling too. And we'll talk about cold calling some other time, but cold calling is the same thing. You get a hundred hangups for every person that wants to talk. Okay. And that's how it is. It's just numbers. Just remember that it's numbers, but you have to start building up those numbers, the trying, the trying over and over the looking over and over again, because eventually boom, it hits. That's how you do it. That's persistence. That's what separates the successful 
from the not so successful, okay? Is people that have the willpower and the passion and the desire to make it happen for themselves. So I wanted to get something out today. It's a little bit brief, but uh, this is good information. It really is. Uh, and also, so real quick, uh, Flip Anything app, it's free. You can get it on Android and iPhone. I paid for it, okay? It's yours free. Go, go get that and you'll love it. And also I've got a book. I got a book, Wake Up and Smell the Real Estate. This is basically a course, okay? This is a course on how I made my first million, okay? And you can do it too, 10 bucks, okay? About the price of a, a drink, right? Or a hamburger, okay? So anyways, sorry it's so short today, but uh, remember, make yourself this big rip fat real estate barbell, you know, just millions and millions of dollars, you know, in your hands, and that's what you want. Yeah, it makes life a lot easier, but you gotta get started. You gotta buy one, then you gotta buy two, then three, then four, and then you gotta start to sell them and, and, and reap the benefits of those deals that you're making. And you can do it, I 100% guarantee you can do it. So that's it, flip anything, please share, subscribe, ask questions, make them as tough as you can. You know, just ask smart questions, but watch some videos, watch some videos. I hate dumb questions, you know. Uh, a lot of questions are answered by just taking time and watching a video. Some people wanna have a sit down and talk to me. You know what, I've already done so much talking. Hey, or get the book, for 10 bucks the book has so much, it's, it's, like, it's like all the videos concentrated into one quick little guide. And if you get a Kindle book, that's really great because it, when you get on a topic, it, it, within my chapters where I have a topic, I have a link within the Kindle video that takes you to a video that's relative to the, the chapter, whether it be leapfrogging or bird dogging or writing a contract, this, that, or the other thing. The, the, there's stuff in there. Anyways, main thing is watch videos, watch people that are successful, watch people that are more successful than you and concentrate on how they did it, okay? You know, and, and be, be aware of anybody that, that's, you know, making tons of money. I mean, yeah, I get 10 bucks for a book, that's nothing. I ain't making any money, believe me. But listen to people that wanna share their knowledge, but be wary of people that charge a lot of money, okay? Because that's where you really need to think it through. Think it through. Anyways, I gotta go. Uh, have a great day, bye.